hello everyone so today in this top-down player controller series uh, I'm gonna implement this uh, camera moment when I move the cursor to an edge the camera moves automatically like this see so that's what I'm going to work on today so previously what we had is we had to click and drag or just click somewhere in order to move the camera but now you can just simply move the cursor to an edge and move around the world and these things we had already implemented we can select a character and move them that part we had already okay so let's see how to do the camera movement today right so this is where we stop in our strategy controller project uh, the characters I can select the characters and move them like this uh, and also in order to pan the camera around the world I have to press right mouse button and drag it uh, around the mouse around the screen to look around the world pan around the camera but what I want to do is if I move the mouse to the edges here here or here to one of the edges we should automatically move the camera without having to click that's what I want to implement next all right so for that let me open my player controller here this is where we move uh, move the camera so this is the part that get called when I right click on the world and drag to one of the edges this is what moves the camera by moving the dummy character that we are using for the view so um, what I want to do is instead of moving this way I'll first I need to determine if the mouse is on an edge if yes we need to move the we need to automatically pan the camera so but not actually pan move in the camera so uh, yeah let's add a function check mouse position right so we can access mouse position using get mouse position and uh, in order to detect if we are at an edge closer to an edge we need to also know the um, viewport size as well so we get viewport size by splitting this I can get x value and y value so if I subtract the width from the oh wait a second we need to know the middle point so let me recombine this and divide by oh we can't oh what if I do this no um well let me just split to float and divide this by 2 and plug it here then we can get the absolute value uh, to s if 
the mouse is closer to the edge in x direction uh, we can check if this absolute value is greater than how do we know how much should it be uh, yeah let me multiply this with something like 0.45 the reason to use 0.45 is and if it is larger than the width of the screen multiplied by 0.45 that means we are at an edge so let me explain that so this let me get a snapshot to explain right so this is width and divided by 2 means somewhere like this so let's say this is thousand oh hundred the total width is hundred then this width is 50 then let's say our mouse position is somewhere over here so the x value will be something like 25 and when I subtract 25 from 50 that's what we are doing here we get uh, 25 so yeah, let me consider this as 30 because otherwise you can get confused so 50 subtract 30 and get the absolute value you get 20 okay so that means from the middle the mouse is 20 from here or from here because we are considering the absolute value right now I am using here uh, width multiplied by 0.45 that means well that should be 45 because we considered the total width as 100 so 45 so if this uh, if we are 45 away from the middle that means this subtraction gives us a value larger than 45 that means we are in the edge closer to this edge or closer to this edge from the middle that's basically what's happening here hope that is clear okay so if this is true if this is true that means we are closer to the edge in x direction so let me add a reroute node here and collapse this to a macro is at edge okay now we can use the same macro to calculate y as well let me rename this um size position okay now if a if any of these conditions are true that means we are at the edge another thing um no uh yeah let's add a branch here if this is true let's print a message that just shows just uh, let me again get mouse position oh it only get right no 
we don't need another one let me do an append let's print x and y Here I'll put a dash and let's call this in a tick. Do we have a tick? No, okay. Tick check mouse position. All right, so now okay. See if I go here if the mouse is in the middle nothing shows up if i go here it start printing here or here or here or whenever i go closer to an edge it starts printing so let me stop and play again now we we get zero zero printed even if my mouse is not still focused on the game view once i come here it stops so we don't need that actually so the map will be camera will be continuously moving even if we are not focused so to prevent that we can use this uh, return value returns false if there is no associated mouse device so we can use this okay now let me move the mouse aside and start so we don't get the print we only get once i enter the game world all right now we have a way to determine whether we are at an edge or not so the next step is we don't really need this print mm, and so neither this branch if I simply um, call this let me copy this part and paste to this this should work okay see now I'm not clicking, I just simply move in the uh, mouse cursor to an edge. So we are already moving. We can move down or up anywhere. Alright. So another thing you should notice is here we are using get location under cursor here we are using the visibility trace channel so here i have used a mesh so this is like the c and here i have actually i have block wall dynamic so you may not need collision for the c water plane so in case you have disabled collisions this will not return a result so what you can do is set it to custom and ignore everything just lock the visibility now also it should work yeah all right so another thing is if you don't want to do this check in every frame what you can do is here instead of calling this in the tick you can in the begin player you can set timer by function name function name is check mouse position and you can call it time let's say every point two second and loop in now still this would work no you don't it's not getting moved the reason is 
but still this function is working let me show you uh let here this true is still getting fired let me just add a print it just prints hello when we are at a edge see but we are still not we are not moving the reason is uh, when we call this um, this part this follow part here so this uh, add moment input is not large enough to show a significant moment when we call this only at with the interval of 0.1 seconds so what we can do is perhaps but the frequency of we are calling this function just to determine whether we should move or not is enough so let me just cut this part here and promote this to a variable move camera let's set this move camera variable by default it should be false and then here we can have a branch get move camera and have a branch if this is true we can call the moment logic so now the advantage is you are not calling the this function check mouse position function in every tick but once you detect move camera as true the moment will happen smoothly see you see hello as well okay we don't really need the hello so let me delete that and yeah so perhaps you can further reduce this if need that yeah it's still good enough just a tiny bit of optimization okay so yeah that's it for today and i'm gonna stop this episode right here let me revert this to point two and thanks for watching as always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Bye.